Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about chemical reactions. As you know that we have many chemical reactions, but interestingly, we are able to classify them in a small group of number of reaction types. So I'm going to talk about reaction types in this video. First, I'm going to remind you if we have this general pattern for chemical reaction, A plus B produce C and D. A reacts with B to produce C and D. For the left side of the arrow, we are going to call that reactant side. So we have reactants. And on the right side, we have products. So as you already watched the previous videos, I already talked about them. But in this video, I'm going to focus on how to identify types of chemical reactions based on the number of reactants and products based on the type of reactant and products. First type of reaction, when we are going to work on, we call that combination. Combination is the first or simplest part of this classification combination reactions. Sometimes we call that composition. Sometimes we call this reaction composition. It depends on the textbook. You may find another term for that one, synthesis. So we may mainly use combination for our chemistry class, combination reaction. When we have combination reaction, a general pattern for this one is A reacts with B to produce C. As you see here, when we have one product, if we have only one product, if we have only one product, we call that combination. So you just need to look at the product side. If you have only one product, you call that combination reaction. Let me give it you one example regarding that one. Assume that we have like this, Fe2O3 plus SO3. We are going to produce Fe2 parentheses SO4 3. So as you see here, on the right side, I wrote only one chemical formula, one chemical formula. I have only one product, so we call it combination reaction. I'm going to balance this reaction, so I'm going to write, I'm going to write here three. So this is a balanced chemical reaction. This is a balanced combination reaction. Let me give it to you another example. So the second example, Fe plus O2, we have Fe2O3. So in this reaction, I'm going to balance that one for Fe3O2 and 2Fe2O3, 2 iron, 2 oxide. Guys, again, for this reaction, we are going to have only one chemical formula. It doesn't matter what is the coefficient. We wrote only one chemical formula here. One substance is produced. So we call that combination reaction. So to make sure you get that one, N2 plus H2, we call that NH3. To identify the type of reaction by looking at the product side. So you may say on the product side, we have only one chemical formula, one substance. And this substance, it means we have combination reaction, composition reaction. Or you may call that, this is a reaction to synthesize ammonia, N2 plus 3 H2. Right now, let me work on the second type of reaction. The second type of reaction. The second type of reaction, we call that the composition. For this type of reaction, we have A is going to produce B and C. 
as you see here, and I'm sure you can summarize by comparing by the first class of the com class of the reaction, we have only one reactant. If we have only one reactant, we call that the composition reaction. The composition reaction when we have only one reactant. So to show you regarding the example for this one, the composition reaction, when we have only one reactant, I may give it you this example. KClO3 produce KCl and O2. KClO3 potassium chloride is going to be bricked on to produce potassium chloride and oxygen. I'm going to balance this reaction. So again, it doesn't matter what is the coefficient as long as we write one chemical formula. As long as we have one substance, we call that the composition reaction. Please understand, in the recomposition reaction, it looks is reverse of combination reaction. It is a reverse of combination reaction. So combination, if we call that composition, it, comp it totally makes sense and the composition reaction. So if we have one reactant, we call that the composition reaction. If we have one product, we call that combination reaction. One thing I'm going to share with you regarding the decomposition reaction. For the composition reaction, we usually use this notation on the top of the arrow. So usually we use this notation delta on the top of the arrow. So delta or this triangle, it means we are going to talk about heat. We are going to talk about heat. So potassium chlorate is heated to produce, to break down, to make these products. So most of the decomposition reaction, or in general, we are going to talk about the new type of reaction we call that endothermic reaction. So let me write heat and when one substance gains or absorbs heat, we call that endothermic. So endothermic process. If we have a reaction, our substances gain heat or absorb heat, this reaction or that specific reaction, we call that endothermic. So the composition reactions the composition reactions are mostly endo. endo. And I told you the composition reactions are reverse of combination reaction. It means when we produce one substance in combination reaction, when we make one substance in combination reaction, we produce heat. Producing heat, we call that exothermic reaction, exothermic reaction. And we say mostly, not all, please understand chemistry is a practical science. So we have always, for most of the concept we review, we have exceptions. So most of the combination reactions, they are exothermic. They are exothermic. And for the composition reaction, we call them endothermic, opposite of each other. So if we have one reactant, one product, we are going to identify these type of reactions. Let me work on the next slide, talking about another types of reactions. Number three, we call that displacement reaction. Number four, we call that displacement reaction. So it looks we have two types of reaction. We call them displacement reaction. For the first one, we call that single displacement reaction. And for second one, we call that double displacement reaction. Two types of reaction. One is SD, single displacement. Another one is double displacement reaction. 
Some textbooks call that replacement reaction. It does make sense because we are going to have replacement as well. The reason I wrote these reactions together step by step, I'm going to show you how they are similar to each other. Generic form of this reaction A plus BC and generic form for this one AB plus CD. One thing I ask you to pay attention is the difference between these two. For single displacement reaction, I wrote only one letter. So if we have elements, A represent element, element in the periodic table, and BC represent a compound. So if we have reaction of element and compound, we call that single displacement reaction. So one more time, if we have reaction of element and compound, we call that single displacement reaction. If we have double displacement reaction, look, I wrote two letters for each generic substance. So it means if we have one compound react with another compound. If we have two compounds react with each other, so we call that double displacement reaction. So before working on the examples, I'm going to show you the products of each one. Single displacement reaction. Please look for single displacement reaction. You just need to switch first part of the compound and element. You just need to switch first part of the compound and element. It means I have to write A here. A is going to be written here. So we don't have B here. A should be written here. A, C. And B is released. B is released. So we are going to write B here. So the only thing I did that one, I just wrote A here on the first part of the compound. In other words, I'm going to say that element can be written in the compound. And you are going to remove the first part of the compound. You are going to have like this example. So let me work on this. Na plus KCl. I'm going to write the product. Look, Na must be written here. So we have NaCl. And this one is going to be released. K is released. So always you just need to switch first part of the compound by element. So we have one time replacement. We call that single displacement. Single displacement, it goes back to one time, once, one time replacement. Then we have these replacements happen in once, at once. So let me work on the double displacement reaction. So you predict to have two times replacement. A and C should be switched. A and C should be switched. First part of each compound must be switched. A and C. So I'm going to write that one. If I'm going to write C here, I'm going to write C, B, and A should be written here, A, D. It doesn't matter. You write A, D plus C, B. You just need to have changes in first part of the reactions. So I'm going to work on the example here. N, A, C, L plus, for example, KOH. So you just need to find the first part of each compound and switch them, and switch them. So let me highlight that one, N, A, and K. We are going to switch them. So let me write this one here, N, A. Here, I'm going to write in AOH plus K. I'm going to write it here, KCL. So we did switch two times. So we call that double displacement reaction. So it doesn't matter. You write KCL and NaOH. 
it doesn't matter you switch the ordering of the compounds it doesn't matter at all so one thing i'm gonna talk about this it's not easy like this one to write the product formula of the product in other video i show you how to write the product formula as well but here we are going to identify types of chemical reactions another example hcl plus for example mgso4 so here hcl mgso4 you just need to switch the first part of the compounds so i'm gonna write h here h2so4 and i'm gonna write mg here mgcl2 how to write mgcl2 how to write h2so4 it's easy you remember that one from the nomenclature chapter because we are going to work on the ions h ions and sulfate ions so h and sulfate ions h group number one sulfate so4 two negative we switch the charges we write h2so4 mg here and cl mg and cl so we are we are going to write a compound between mg and cl mg group number two cl group number seven one negative we switch them and we have like this then you are going to balance this reaction and you are going to say for example 2hcl but again when you have two compounds we call that double displacement reaction and finally if we have number five combustion reaction combustion reaction in general we say reaction with oxygen reaction with oxygen o2 we may call that burn in general speaking we call that burning reaction with oxygen when we have reaction with oxygen mostly we talk about hydrocarbons hydrocarbons means in the formula we have only hydrogen and carbon hydrogen and carbon like this one ch4 if we have hydrocarbon react with o2 we call that combustion reaction another one c2h6 react with oxygen so we call that combustion reaction another term we use for combustion reaction we call that oxidation as well because the sign of this reaction is o2 o2 always product for hydrocarbon combustion reaction is co2 plus h2o so i'm gonna write that one hydrocarbons plus o2 it they make always co2 and h2o co2 and h2 and you can balance this reaction as well so they are going to produce heat they are going to produce heat producing heat it means exothermic reaction so this is the second type of reaction we call them exothermic reaction so combustion reaction or oxidation in general make exothermic reaction this type of reaction can be classified in one type of reaction we call that redox reaction that i already talked about in another video let me quickly write the products for this hydrocarbon plus oxygen always co2 and h2o oxygen we call it oxidation or combustion reaction and if you are going to balance this reaction you can easily balance that one so i may ask you to work on this two carbon three so you are going to write so five here seven seven oxygen here so two carbon atoms two carbon atoms six hydrogen six two times two four plus three seven seven oxygen this is one example of a combustion reaction thank you for watching this video